Today is the fourth day where uh, after the Prime Minister's address to the nation on building a Atman Nirbar Bharat, we have been announcing in several tranches the various uh, steps that we want to take to give a stimulus, to help, and to extend that uh, little assistance, which as a government we should, and do it in uh, time. And therefore, we had a um, Pradhan Mantri Garib Kalyan package. Post that, we also ensured that people don't suffer with, uh, you know, having to file their returns or comply with taxation and related things. So in stages, we've announced relief for the MSMEs, NBFCs, and so on. But importantly, Prime Minister had also said in building a self-reliant Bharat, we should prepare ourselves also for tough competition so that we become strong, we are able to be, first of all, self-reliant, and at the same time, be sure we are strong enough to face the challenges of the global value chains and also be ready to integrate. I repeat, when we talk of self-reliant Bharat, when we talk of Atmanirbhar Bharat, we are not looking inwards. It's not isolationist policy. It is certainly making India strong, making India rely on its strength and be ready to face the global challenge. Many sectors need policy simplification, whereby we can make it simpler for people to understand what that sector can provide for them, how they can participate in uh, that sectoral related activities, bring in transparency in processes, and so on. So once we decongest sectors, we can also provide the necessary boost. That sector, too, will become strong enough and competent enough to provide the necessary boost for growth and employment. And as you all know, the Prime Minister has a very strong track record in taking up reforms, deep systemic reforms. I'll just, just highlight those reforms which are worth recalling. And on those reforms, it was public knowledge, and all of you all covered extensively, the efforts that had gone to take everybody on board so that those reforms become everyone's reform. DBT, the direct benefit transfer, today it's become very useful for us to be able to directly give money in the hands of people. GST, which had been pending for a very long time, all states were taken on board and GST brought in one nation, one market. IBC, companies waited for decades to have their insolvency-related matters settled. Limited success was felt through the various other programs, I mean, schemes which existed, Surface or BIF, BIFR and so on. Then the several steps which were taken for ease of doing business so that India becomes an attractive destination for investment. You also had the public sector banks' reforms, not only just infusing some equity, but also making sure that they become professionally managed, although they are public sector banks, and performing well. But still, they needed to have more professionalism. So that was also, and giving independence for them. Because that's an area in which I would uh, take extreme pride to say, between 14 and till today, you wouldn't have had one phone call going to any one of the banks saying, give this loan to my cousin or my whoever. No cronyism has been developed through the banks. Direct taxation reforms, Revenue Secretary is here. Most unexpected time the country saw that a drastic step had been taken, drastic but in a favorable sense. Power sector reforms, Wudai was a scheme which was brought in with a great sense of wanting to clean up that sector. It has its challenges, but it was a daring reform. Coal sector, 
and also water and irrigation. There are many such I can list, but Prime Minister Modi has been absolutely consistent in making sure reforms are taken up. So structural reforms are the focus of today's announcements. Today's announcements are focusing on structural reforms. The sectors in which these measures will be impacting are those sectors with these reforms which are going to be the new horizon for growth. And therefore, uh, we see great potential in more investments which can be drawn with the reforms that we are announcing today. More production can be clearly marked and certainly it will lead to a lot more employment possibilities. We can actually start off with some uh, preliminary slides before I go into talking about uh, today's announcements, which will explain all the steps that we've taken in the recent past to make sure that investment come into this country and also make India a far, far more business-friendly, 